Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord, and today I want to show you how to make a keychain that'll hook on your belt loop with this new metallic paracord that we have. It has three tracers of metallic in it. Um, this is the black with the blue tracers, and we're going to make kind of a, I don't know, like police inspired keychain. And it's going to be a double cobra, so I have about 12 feet here. The final product is going to be a hook at one end, a D-ring at the other where you can hook your keys on with a key ring. And we're going to just basically weave in between them just about four or five inches. So I've already put my two ends together just so I can find the middle. And you might have to bear with me today. I had some sh shoulder surgery a couple weeks ago and still pretty tender, so I'm not even supposed to be doing this right now. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to get a video out there anyway. So first thing we want to do, we have our, I mean, you can use any clip here. I chose to do it with the H and K style uh, hook, mainly used for rifles, but we're going to find our center point right here. And we're just going to go down through the, the, um, the clip. And then we're going to reach through and grab the loop. And then we're going to pass this loop right down through the center again, between the two cords like that and pull that through so that you have something that looks just like that. So you have basically four pieces of cord here and then what we're going to do is open this loop up and pull it over top of the uh, the clip here and then pull everything through so that it tightens up around itself. And this can be a little tricky to kind of get the cord where you want it to go but once you get it, you got it. So let's just kind of wiggle this in there nice and tight. And yeah, that's what we're looking for. We want it just to look like that real easy. The next thing we're going to do is grab our D-ring. And we're just going to go down to about here. This is how long we want to make the, uh, the clip. So we're going to take and just bring the cord up through the D-ring, just like this, and pull it through. I'm going to zoom in just a little more. There we go. And now I'm going to wrap each strand around this D-ring twice. So there's one. And notice how I go into the center of these two. So there's one. And then I'm going to pass it back up through and bring it through. Oops. And that can happen. It just so happens that I pulled way too much cord through. There we go. All right, so now we have basically two loops around the D-ring. You can kind of see that there. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Pass it through the middle and then bring it up through the D-ring just like the first one. There we go. Okay, now we can set our length here. Once we go past this step here, Sorry, this is really hard with my shoulder, uh, kind of tender. I'm supposed to have it in a sling right now, but it's not. Okay, so what we need to do, I want to lock this down onto the D-ring. And the way we're going to do that is just do a couple simple knots. So I'm going to basically create a loop right here. And this cord is going to go over top of the right cord around itself in the back and then come up through that loop that you kind of created there. And then we're just going to cinch this while still holding on to the spot. You're just going to keep on cinching this down, pull the slack through until you can cinch it right up onto the buck or onto the uh, the D ring, just like that. So, same thing on the left side. Make sure it's the same length. I'm going to create a little loop here, go around the back, and then up through the middle. And then while keeping it all in one spot, this is the hardest part of this whole bracelet is doing this little knot here, but it's not too bad. You should be able to get it pretty easily. And the setup of this is the longest part, but once you're done, all you have to do is the Cobra. So this one's a little bit longer on the left side. So I'm just going to try and wiggle some extra cord out. There we go. And that worked just fine. 
I'm going to tighten this. Now, once we have this nice and tight, we can go ahead and start tying our, um, our cobra stitch, and then we'll go back over and do a cobra on the way back through. So, to create the cobra, you're going to want one cord off to the left, one cord off to the right, and you're going to create a loop on the right, bringing that cord over the two center strands, bring it off to the left. Now, your left cord is going to cross over top of your right cord, and then you'll take it behind everything and up through that loop on the right that you created. Once you have that, you pull that nice and tight. You can kind of see you're going to um, cinch everything together once you get to that point. And if you see a little gap here, we're going to end up covering that when we do our final pass. So don't worry too much about that. Now, start with your left cord. And that's going to be your over cord. And if you look, the cord that went over top of the two center strands right here, that one is always going to go over top. So every step, it's going to look kind of like this. And then this one is always going to go behind, kind of like this. And then they interlock with each other. So whatever cord you have coming out over the top, that's the one you want to start with. Create a loop on that side. Take it off to the right. Cross over it with your right cord. Take that right cord behind the back and then bring it through the loop that you created. Pull it tight and then repeat. And you're just going to do this process all the way down. And if you get really good at it, you can do these real fast. You don't even have to look. And just pull it nice and snug. Do a couple, couple more. And then I will uh, basically get to the fast forward kind of and when I get down to the bottom here I will show you how to go back towards the other end so create that loop take it over top of the center strands your left cord crosses that cord goes around the back up through that loop this is about as easy as it gets most people learn this one as their first weave and it's probably one of the easiest ones but uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this up real quick, and when I come back, I'll be at this end where we'll flip it over and uh, start going the other way. Okay, so I've gotten down to the, the uh, clip here. One thing I want to do is fill up the space that's in like this little gap over here. I want to fill that up. So all I'm going to do is move that to one side like that. And you can see there's quite a bit of gap there, so there's enough for two cords. I'm just going to pass my cord up through there, and then... It's going to fill in um, once we start doing this weave. So, yep, just fill up, fill up all, as much as, this, as you can. There we go. And then I'm going to flip this over so that the clip is at the top. And there we are. And I think I'm going to go the other way with this one so that it's at the back. So we'll just push that down through that way. Just like that. There we go. So we have one coming out the back, one at the top, and it'll just make it a little easier to do this loop right here. So we're just going to start over doing the cobra again, create that loop, cross over, go around the back, and up through. And then go ahead and pull that tight. Just like that. And you want to pull this really tight. There we go. Looking good. It's going to look a little funky at first, but as you go, and as you do this weave, you'll find out that it'll, it'll start looking better as you go. And I really hope I have enough cord here. So I'm doing about six inches of weave. Um, probably should have got a little more cord. I only did 12 feet, so we'll find out when I get closer to the end. I really hope I don't have, I, I mean, I really hope I have enough cord, but it's it's looking like I may run out. But, all right, well, let me, uh, so as you can see, I'm going to go over this, um, how this is working. It's going to be kind of hard to see with the black, but I can zoom in a little bit more here. You're basically doing the cobra weave, just as before. You're just doing it over top of what you already did. And uh, each strand should fall right into place when you pull on it. Well, that one didn't. But it should fall in right between these little humps. See these little humps here? 
that cord kind of fell in right between them. So that's what you're looking for. And you can see we're going from a real thick spot here, and it's, I mean, going from a small spot here to a little thicker there. And that's so that we're the same width as the clip. And then also on the D-ring, it'll fill in nicely too. So I'm going to finish this up, get down to the bottom, and I'll show you how to finish it off. All right, so I'm down at the bottom here, and you can see I've uh, done the double cobra all the way down, and I went as far as I possibly could up to this this here, and um, there's really not a whole lot of gap in this in this D ring to fill in, so I'm just going to go ahead and snip the cord right here at the end, and I'm going to get as close to this bracelet as I can, just like that, and we'll do the other side while we're at it. Just like that and get rid of my scraps here and then I have a torch lighter and oh it's hard for me to reach okay and my smoothing tool so smoothing tool is great for rounding over those edges once you melt them so we're just gonna hit this one real fast and the flame is barely touching it and it's nice with the smoothing tool because you can just ro roll it right over it. You can see it makes a real nice smooth edge that's kind of flush with everything else. It's not going to snag on your clothes. We'll do the same thing with this guy. And the other good thing with having black paracord is that you can, you can burn the paracord to be black. And it matches right into the rest of it. Let's do that with the uh, smoothing tool again. And you get a nice, clean, smooth edge on there. I hope you like this. Don't forget to uh, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And uh, trying to do more videos like this and in the coming days. So, uh, yeah. Don't forget also to check out the Facebook group. Facebook.com slash groups slash Paracord On. That's where you'll find this posted along with everybody else's great, great stuff. And until next time, Paracord On. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time and there's a few to the right side of the screen and you can also buy Paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.